been in business since uh, my grandpa started in 1968, and my uh, dad, mom, took it over in 1978, and been here since. We have a, uh, a smoked, bone-in cured ham, and then we've got a boneless cured ham. They're basically the same, but we'll take a, a bone-in ham like this, we'll bone it out, and we'll put it in three pieces and farm it together. And this is where you come with your boneless ham. We trim all the uh, all the fat muscle out of or the fat out of it to make a nice lean boneless ham. Now on a bone-in ham, you always like to have a little bit of of uh, fat on it for cover, so you got the the juiciness. You take you peel the rind halfway back, so you see the fat and the fat will uh, drip a little bit so you got some juice. On a boneless ham you would like to see it all lean like this because you slice it thin and if you get a lot of fat then you get it, you know people throw it away anyway so on a on a boneless ham you like to see it all nice and lean because you slice it thin and it tastes you know really good that way. Bone in ham when you cook it like this uh, you want that fat in there to make it juicy, and then you can always trim your fat off. A lot of it is they, they look for the cheapest ham they can find. And if it's a cheap ham, most of them you know, are not as good as, they're, they're water added. There's a lot of water added to them. There's not much ingredients, flavors in them. And that's why when you get a, uh, a more expensive ham, you got more ingredients, more flavorings, and there's not as much water added. Like a ham like this, to prep them, you only want to go to about 160, 170 degrees. If you get over that, you just you just keep cooking them, and then you you know you cook the moisture out, of them, and then you got a dry ham. These are already they're already cooked, so all you got to do is reheat them.